Rescuing data off an old or non-bootable hard drive isn't hard if you have the right tools, use the right techniques, and have some persistence, and know where to look for the data. Let me show you how to do this. So this is the hard drive that I'm going to be rescuing user data off of. It is an old magnetic hard drive, a Western Digital, 320 gigabytes, and it's from a compact computer. So there's two ways we can get this hooked up to the computer that's going to rescue the data. We can take the side panel off the computer and just hook up a SATA power and SATA data. We can go directly, or we can use a USB docking station. I'll show you both. Right now, let me get this hard drive hooked up using SATA. So first of all, here is my power cable. Let me make sure I get it turned the right way. And plugged in. And let me get my data cable, if it doesn't slip out of my hands. There we go. Now I've got it hooked up, and I'm just going to leave it lying right here. And now I can power up the computer and see if the computer sees the hard drive. The other way I can get this hard drive hooked up to the computer so I can rescue the data is to use one of these SATA to USB adapters. This one, the Black X by Thermatake, just lets you take any SATA hard drive, whether it is a laptop hard drive or a full-size desktop hard drive, and hook it up here, and it's just a USB. So let me get the USB power and data plugged in. There's the USB. Let me get the wall wart get the power plugged in. There we go. We got that ready to go. Now I can just grab the hard drive, put it in cartridge style, push it down, and now all I've got to do is boot up the computer and turn on the power. Now I've made a video showing you how these work and they're very inexpensive. They're $25 to $30. It's a great thing to have if you need to work with lots of different computers. So usually when you're going to rescue data off an old hard drive, you want to get some idea of the health of the hard drive. And I'm using the trial version of Argus Monitor right here on this lab computer. And immediately upon launching Argus Monitor, it detected reallocated sector counts above zero on this hard drive I'm going to be rescuing data from. That means at least one sector has gone bad. So. I don't want to run a bunch of diagnostic tests on this hard drive. This hard drive is probably starting to check out, starting to die, and it only has so much time left. I want to spend the time it has left copying data off of it, not testing it. So if I go into Argus Monitor here, I can look at the smart parameters, and on the smart parameters right here, right now, it's showing zero for reallocated sectors, which is good. Oh, I've got to see which drive I'm on. I'm on disk drive C. I'm on the wrong disk drive. Let's go to drive DNF, which is the data hard drive I'm trying to rescue data from. And you can see the raw read error rate is one, and reallocated sector count is one. And as soon as you start getting reallocated sectors, that is, a sector has gone bad and it has been replaced with one of the spares, other sectors are not usually not far behind. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can look at the smart parameters. I was just using Argus Monitor. Let's go see what data is on this hard drive. If I go into this PC, we can see my operating system disk, disk drive C. We can see disk drive D from this 320 gigabyte hard drive called Compact. So this came out of a compact computer. And then that hard drive has two partitions on it. And one of them is a factory image partition to restore the factory image back onto the hard drive. This is where the data is going to live. Now this is just a USB memory stick for me to copy the data onto. So if I go into Compact, we can see that we have a Windows installation. I see the Windows folder. It's at least Windows Vista because it has a Users folder. And if I go into Users, 
I can see there are some different users on this and I need to explore these to see which of these has data. Administrator is empty. Brittany, as I go through these folders, appears to be empty. Let's go to kids and there's going to be something here. Now, I have admin rights on this computer so it's going to give me the rights to look at this kids folder. It's going to override the rights from before that are on this folder and the subfolders and the subfolders, but this may take a while. I'll bring you back when it's done. All right, so it looks like kids is the folder that has data in it. So if I go into kids, I can see the different folders that are that make up this user. What's on the desktop? We have files. What's in documents? We have files and subfolders. Pictures. Users want me to find their pictures. So we can see there's quite a few pictures here. And by the way, I have changed my view to list so I don't show you any thumbnails of this user's pictures just to be a little bit more sensitive to that so under kids we can look also at downloads and now we can start grabbing this data and moving it to my data rescue disk drive G so I'm gonna come back I'm going to grab pictures right here and I'm just going to right click on it and say send to disk drive G and it will start copying all those pictures onto the rescue memory stick. Now as we look at this for more details it's going to first of all total up the total number of files and the total space they're using and then it's going to start copying them and as you can see it's an old mechanical hard drive magnetic so it is not copying at a very high rate we're getting two to five megabytes per second and it says it's going to take about eight more minutes to finish copying these pictures I'll bring you back once they're copied all right I have all the pictures copied over to data rescue everything's good there let's go back to the compact disk drive and if I right click on documents and say properties it tells me there are 1.9 gigabytes worth of documents that need to be backed up so I'm going to right click on these and send to data rescue as well and it's off and copying and we wait a little bit longer being amazed by the awesome speed of this 320 gigabyte magnetic hard drive I'll bring you back alright so documents is now copied over to the rescue drive and all of the folders therein and I would just have to continue going through this folder for the user kids looking through everything to see if there's any data that needs to be saved like uh, desktop there's some stuff on the desktop I need to save copy over right click I can send to my rescue disk not a whole lot there won't take very long and continue on. I could look in downloads and see if any of these files are worth copying over. When in doubt, copy them over. And so on and so on and so on. I can look in music and see if there is music here. It looks like there might be some music. So I need to copy that over. And folder by folder, I can bring this stuff over. Now, the other thing I can do is I could just come up to the higher level here and copy the entire kids folder just to make sure I get everything but it's a little easier for the user if you organize it into these folders for them let's see how much there would be 
to copy in total. I'll right click on kids and say properties and there is a total of 14 gigabytes worth of stuff under that kids folders but there is obviously a decent amount of this stuff I probably do not need to save. So that is kind of how we want to go rescue data off of an old hard drive by hooking it up to a different computer. Thanks a lot.